Hi, I'm Allison, a pharmacist, and today I'd like to go over how to use your naloxone product. It can be really difficult in an emergency situation to remember everything that you may have learned about naloxone. So feel free to come back to this video from time to time to review the information here so that you can always be prepared in the event that you witness an opioid overdose. So you've called 911 and grabbed your naloxone. Now what? This is intranasal naloxone in a pre-filled syringe, and it requires a nasal atomizer for administration. Each box contains one dose of naloxone, and when you open it up, it looks like this. Now the first step to assemble your dose is to remove all the colored caps. So there's two yellow caps on the syringe, and one purple cap on the drug vial. So now that all the color is gone, we can twist the drug vial onto the syringe. And the most important thing to remember at this point is not to push on the vial at all while you're twisting. This causes some of the drug to leak out of the end. So you wanna twist without pushing until you meet resistance. And then you'll take the nasal atomizer and twist it onto the other end until you meet resistance and now your dose is ready for administration. There's two important things to remember when giving a dose of intranasal naloxone. The first thing is that we're gonna try and split the dose between both nostrils. This means you're gonna give half the dose in one nostril and half the dose in the other nostril. Now, <laughs> there is no way to accurately measure half a dose of naloxone. There's no mechanism on the device that will stop you halfway so you're gonna have to estimate, and it's okay if it's not perfect. Just do your best to administer half the dose in one nostril, half the dose in the other nostril. The second thing to remember is to push vigorously on the drug vial when you give your dose. This allows the medication to form a fine mist that is easily absorbed in our sinuses. If you press too gently on the vial, the medication forms droplets at the syringe and it does not absorb as well in our sinuses. So push vigorously and give half the dose in one nostril, half the dose in the other nostril. Firmly place the applicator into the patient's nostril so that a seal forms and vigorously push half the dose in one nostril and half the dose into the second nostril. And that's how you use intranasal naloxone in a pre-filled syringe.